The secret is to use the same end of your rope as you tie in your knot. Blue goes on top, wrap it around. Blue goes on top, wrap it around. This gives us a square knot. Once it's set, it stays tight. Now pay attention that you don't mix up one of the steps, otherwise your knot's gonna come loose. Let me show you. Blue goes on top and wrap it around. White goes on top and wrap it around. Now we have a granny knot. A granny knot is infamous for coming loose. And even if we pull it tight, it'll still loosen up on us. With this in mind, let's tie in our bow. Blue goes on top and wrap it around. Pull it tight. Grab in our loops. Blue goes on top, wrap it around, and pull it tight. Now this is gonna stay put. And when you're done, you just pull it out. Tying this the wrong way is the reason your bow comes loose. Let's do it the wrong way this time. Blue goes on top, wrap it around, and pull it tight. Pull in our loops, white, goes on top, wrap it around, and pull it tight. Now, even if we cinch this down, it's still gonna loosen up on us. A common remedy for the granny knot is to simply double knot your shoes. But that essentially leaves you with a triple granny knot, which will tighten up, but it's not as secure. A triple square knot would do much better. Blue over white, blue over white, Blue over white. And you can see when I pull this tight, all we need is the first two to keep everything together. Now, if you'd like to see me teach my five-year-old son how to tie his shoes using this method, please subscribe because that video is coming up next. With this in mind, let's tie in our bow. Blue goes on top and wrap it around, pull it tight. Grab in our loops. Blue goes on top wrap it around and pull it tight. Now this is gonna stay put. And when you're done, you just pull it out.